wide receivers you guys are replacing a lot of guys. How have you liked the, the guys kind of who need to step up there? Oh, those numbers are pretty high. You know, those, uh, you know, from Tom Story to Peyton and, uh, and to uh, outside Fuller. It's a lot of numbers and a lot of production. Uh, but uh, I really believe in, in the group that we have from uh, the way Coach Yards puts it together and uh, recruiting that we brought. We, uh, I really like our speed outside and uh, and getting the experience together with Josh. You know, last year Josh was first year, but still had those numbers. But these guys have had the summer together and and have, uh, in the spring and the summer and now fall camp. So uh, they're finding their ways. How have you liked Ishmael's transition to your side of the ball? Really like it a lot. You know, and not only. I like, uh, I love his passion. I love his competitiveness. Uh, and uh, we are, you know, we need to find a way in, uh, you know, situations to uh, get the ball in his hand. Because he's pretty electric, you know, with the ball in his hand. Uh, and I uh, had the opportunity to kick him, not to coach him on kickoff return two years ago. And he uh, really got to see a lot of that explosiveness back there returning and in traffic and, and running through people. So, uh, again, he's not going to be like our backs. He's going to carry it 20 plus times. We're going to just be creative. He, he was known for quite a bit of trash talk on defense. Has he brought that over to, to offense or is he quieter? <laughs> no, he, 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 like, to me, he, he, I, I didn't hear it on defense, but on offense, he's, uh, I mean, he's, he's working when nobody's looking. Um, he's bringing the guys along and his work ethic and his competitiveness, and, and, and that's a plus. Look like you know, clutch his hamstrings. He, uh, uh, I don't know. I, I, you know, that the coach, you know, reports on that. So I don't know. And uh, I think uh, he finished practice with the group, and so you know, I didn't see him leave. So I think he's going. He should be okay. Jim had mentioned in the spring that there was still a chance that Ish could help out on in defense if necessary. Is you guys talked any more about scenarios? That, uh, yeah, that, that's all on Coach Mora. Uh, I know that we have the opportunity every down to put Ish in if we want, if we need them. But again, you know, it's, it's a 12-game season. We want to make sure that uh, you, you design some things that uh, we can get some mismatch and get the ball in his hand, and, uh, and uh, he can create some, you know, some explosive plays with his abilities. How do you feel the offensive line is? Oh, right? I, you know me. I, it, everything starts up front. You know, everything starts up front. I, you know, from Connor on our you know, left side to Kenny Lacey had a, I think the last two days have really, he's improved from spring to summer. And then we're unbelievably solid at center. Uh, you know, losing a four year starter, but uh, Quisenberry at center has just been, uh, you know, and he's played games. So uh, it, it, it's, uh, it's nice. And he got uh, Pawasi at, at right guard. It's done a, a real nice job, even got a haircut. You know, uh, and then uh, our our kid. That uh, I, I think he can be the next uh, great lineman coming out here. Is uh, our right Colton Colton Miller. So, and, and then we're establishing some backups. You know, we, we had some kids that redshirted last year, and um, and to go against Eddie and Tack every day. Uh, I don't know if you're gonna, you know. You might find people that are as good, but I don't know if you'll find any that are better. So it's it's uh, helping us all the way around in the front. Where do you think you are in the team grasping the scheme now, putting it in in spring and where you are now? Really, I feel, you know, you're never comfortable until you get to A&M, you know, the opener. But uh, they're putting the work in, uh, the efforts there, and then we're going to just tighten that package to where we execute better than them defending us and that's you know that's kind of our have that effort and, uh, and, and then tighten the package so that uh, we can execute it and uh, I believe in letting our players play. How's Josh doing in getting that all the concepts? And he's uh, doing a really nice job and again it's it, it's getting 11 on 11 it's uh, it's, it's the best it's the best way for him to learn and, and grow uh, they did a nice job. Players only practice on in the summer, so they they progressed beyond uh, from spring. They got better because of the summer workouts that they put in together, that they put ownership to. So it's uh, fun. 
and then right now we're just you know fine tuning the personnel matchups and, uh, and but we are going to be physical up front and run the football. At what point will you start doing things to specifically prepare for him? Uh, I think you're always preparing for your season and then what you do what I like to do is I call it primary stuff we're going to work on our primaries that these are what we're going to use in the 12 games and then fine tune it versus every possible pressure versus every possible defense and then that way Josh will know in coverage and hey here's the coverage we have gotten so good at that that he knows where to go with the ball knows where to go with the matchup and uh, and then we we'll go with our secondary you know how, the kind of stuff maybe we might use you know 60 percent of the time you know and then we go with our game plan specific that this team might have uh, you know a really good D lineman or a really good uh, rush in or a really good secondary now hey this is what we got to get these guys to move off the spot so the game plan stuff is hold right now but our primary of our what I call our menus are pretty much in every day. What have you seen in development from your running backs just from spring to oh, now? It's, <laughs> you know, I, I, I told them today, I, I feel like I, I, I'm, I'm cheating you guys because my eyes are not all on you every time. But they're like, coach, your, your presence is around us all the time. Because I, I, you know, I, I, I catch everything. You know, I, I know why, if I know this, this they missed the cut is because their eyes were here. So, and, and, uh, but uh, it's a good experience. You're looking at uh, Soso, uh, Nate Starks, and Bolu, who've been with me for over a year. And they've established that Paul Perkins work ethic, mentality, competitiveness, and prep, you know being a pro prepared, ready for opportunities. And then the two young guys, in, uh, Stevens and Jalen, what a, what a wonderful, those two are, they run hard. They run hard and they're athletic, they can catch. Do you see Jalen getting some time at tailback, not at I tailback? I, no, he's a tailback. Tailback. <laughs> yeah. He's a tailback. Yeah, I mean, it's a, it is fun to stand behind there and watch him run with the ball. <laughs> and then, you know, our fullbacks are uh, pretty good, you know, and, and, and they're learning in the new system as well. And, but uh, they're aggressive and they can catch the ball, and that is Cam and uh, Honor. Do you have an idea yet of how you'd like to distribute the carries between the three? We, I want them to compete. I want them to compete for the starter. You know, I, I, it all depends on, you know, the situations. Uh, you know, I kind of went with Paul. I've kind of put a mark around 15 to 20 snaps and give them a breather. But if, you know, because you, know, you kind of feel. So it's a feel. It's a feel. And I think they can all handle it. So they just got to earn that, 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 that first call. But would you like to have one guy? I'll like to have one guy at the top of the list, and then the other guys will get their playing time. And uh, we're going to play all those backs. And, uh, and they know that, and that's why they prepare that way. Who would you know, I know it seems like he's also a little bit of a threat catching the ball. Who's Did that? I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah the is nice... that something that you saw coming from him? And is that something you knew that he had? Well, yeah, he can catch uh, both both him and Cam. That was uh, one of the things that you know you look at our offense. Our fullbacks got to be able to block and catch because they're going to you know they got to stretch the field some way that you know people just don't cover them. And but I hope they don't cover them. And he made a nice explosive play today. And yesterday he yes. ran over one of the defenders. Yeah. How, how, how happy does that make you as a former fullback yourself, trying to instill this physical? Uh, brand of football here. It makes me feel good as an offensive coordinator because that's the kind of ball we like, and we're, we're you know, we want our guys to play with the out, out you know, all out that effort, play with that maximum effort, and then the, you know, the X's and O's, you know, be there. The, the X's and the O's are one thing, but to instill kind of the mentality, the yes. physicality, how do you do that? Well, I think it's, uh, you know, uh, we say repetition, repetition, repetition. Every chance you have the to make a play like that, it, it brings it in nice, uh, you know, the guys on the sideline and the team, and, and uh, when you come out to, when you come to practice, you better stack it on. In what ways has Coach Tugas and Sopo kind of impacted the offensive design? Oh, because if he's played that position, he's been under center at that position, been under pressure in that position, 
It's uh, and then you know he, he he's thrown every ball from the college level to the NFL level, and it, it really impacts our, our our concepts. And then bring it back to hey, hold on a minute, we want to protect you too. You know we can't just stand back there and let people just tee off on our guys. We want to make sure we protect and uh, so and then also having Rip Shear and. Uh, and, and Yarbs, uh, you know, it's a, it's a really good staff. And uh, we're using, utilizes everybody's strength. Talk about communication, open communication, and never let disagreement become dislike. And that's my job to make sure that we're all, you know, working together and trying to help each other uh, be the best that we can that day and, and on. People talk about uh, how special Josh is in the way he can handle an offense at this point in his career. Can you talk about some examples of ways he's impressed you in ways that other college quarterbacks are doing? Well, it, it, again, uh, it's hard to compare because every you know everybody's different. But the, the, the thing is, I like he's a self-starter. Uh, I like when I mean self-starter is I, I I watched him do things that. That he didn't have to do. Uh, you know, last year I saw him. He was in the coat tub in between class when no one else was around, getting his body right. Uh, the other is, is some of our verbiage that we're trying to limit can get really long. Other quarterbacks, but one more time, coach. I said to him once, and he, bam, and now he can go out there, look that person in the eye, and say, hey, look, if you get this coverage, I'm coming to you. That's pretty good. You know, that's where you know the concept and you know the matchup and change the protection and to know that and put that put us in the best position, that's pretty good for a young guy.